Danny Fortz with the rejection free formula no calling, no chasing, no convincing. In this video, we're going to cover step four of using Funnel Kit. Um, last video, uh, we went in, we made our uh, Aweber form, and again, we can always go back and change any, any of these settings. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to build step four, and this is the actual page builder. Um, this is a, a pretty cool, but I, I will say that this is probably the only part of this whole um, plugin that um, I could say could use a little bit of work. Um, it's it's great when you if you have your 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 page completely planned out and you know what you're doing and that'll that'll come with a little bit of practice. But um, this is a drag and drop editor and the way this is laid out makes a lot of sense. It's basically here's your here's your columns. Here's your 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 text in your text that have images with them in the, in the text box. And then this is just a standalone image. This is your opt-in form, and this is uh, video embedding. So you have like everything right here. Now, what happens is when you you drag stuff over here, and so what I'm going to do since we're building a, uh, a capture page, it's one column, okay? And that should make a lot of sense. And I'm just going to drop this right here. And now you have to. This is your content area to work with. Now, the one thing that I love about this is like when you go in here. You can actually change like your backgrounds and, and, and stuff again. So it makes it really cool for you to be making, um, you can have some aspects of your page be transparent and other aspects of the page not be transparent and have different colors and so forth. So you can make some, you can mimic a lot of uh, cool stuff that's already out there um, without having all of these expensive themes and this, that, the other. So that's what makes this, it's, this really powerful. Now, the the problem um, the only problem like I say is uh, is like when you do something like this once you put your content in let's 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 put my my opt-in form here and I'm gonna put some text here now this is a drag and drop editor but it doesn't let me drag and drop once it's actually in the content area um, so that's the only part of this that makes it um, that's probably the only uh, critical thing that I could say about this plugin is that you know so once you have something in here and you're kind of liking it but then you want to change one thing it's you can only basically it doesn't allow you to uh, do a lot of changes once it's in there I mean you can keep continue to add stuff or take stuff out because like right now I could I could take this and let me give you an example of what I'm talking about let me just go in here and do this um, how to how to build, or how about this? Free video reveals how to build a one page cash machine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this a let's go heading two. We want to. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's drop this down. Let's center this. And then we're even going to bold this. And then we're going to make that red. And this is so I can show you the example of what's going on here. Okay, so we got that there. We already have our opt in form right here. So I'm going to save. Uh, we're going to save this. And now I'm going to go to uh, the page that we're working on and show you what I mean. Okay. So now we have, we, this is our, again, this is our main container area that we talked about earlier. And we can go back and, and do all this stuff over again and, and, and get it to the way we want to get it to look. And that's fine. But now I want to go in and show you, like, let's say if I wanted to put a picture in between the text and the opt-in form okay let's say I wanted to put arrows and what happens is if I go here and put um, let's say if I wanted to put this image in between I can't I can only put something above or below the what's already in here now it's not to say that I still couldn't go in here and use the HTML and add whatever stuff that I want to because you can do that it just it, it makes it a little bit extra and Again, it, it just would have been nice to see to have the fact that you could drop, drag and drop these blocks once they're in here is 
all I'm saying. Uh, so that's how uh, this step four works. Now, going back to this point here, uh, or the one column right here, I can change this background area based on this. And I forget what we went for. A con I know that this width is 300. So let's just say if I wanted to do um, fixed width, and I wanted to do this 300, and I wanted to have a background color, and let's say I'll pick this purple just to show you, okay? Um, and then I can, you know, it, I'm basically putting a box within a box kind of thing. Um, and again, you have all these options here to work with. And this, I mean, you could literally make some pretty crazy looking um, pages. And let's do this. Let me hit refresh so you can see this here. Okay. Now see how this is 300? So, I mean, obviously this is not something I would do on, on this particular page, but I'm just showing you. Uh, the power that you have and the ability to make some really cool looking stuff. So I am actually going to put um, no background here um, and then show you what this looks like when I save it because now there shouldn't be a background at all. Okay, so let me go back and do this. And like I said, no background at all. But now I have I, I didn't go back and move this to the center. So um, Oh, it is in the center, so I don't know what happened there. So let me go back over here really quick and see if I missed anything. Oh, the alignment. We can change this to center. Hopefully that was it. Not sure, but let's let's just see. Okay, see now everything it's back in the center. So this is um again, this is just an example that we're using for this particular um video. But uh, that's that's the drag and drop editor, and I can show you some other things just just to show you. Uh, it's not like I planned this stuff out, so let me just let me just show you um, some of the other things that you can do. Obviously, you can put like a video uh, in your uh, in your your page builder. So let's just say let's just take this stuff. Let's just take this stuff out for a second. Let's go take that out. We'll take the opt-in form out. So let's say we wanted to do our headline, so we went with um, text, okay? And then let's say we wanted to put some video, we we'll put that there, and let's just say we wanted to have our opt-in form and we're gonna put that right there, okay? So I can, again, I could go back in here and change this um, text, and I'm not gonna sit here and type anything out, I'm just gonna do this fast, I'm gonna put that, put that there, and show it as like that. We could go grab any kind of YouTube video or embed code, and I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure we can just go get a YouTube video, make it make it really fast. It's not going to be fast when you're you're filming video at the same time. Okay, so let's say if I want to get one of my videos here, and let's just say I'm going to get this video. I got to see which information I need here. Uh, the YouTube URL. I think it's this one. Uh, yep. So hey, welcome to this page. Um, as you can see, this is the beach background, and I had this dream. Oh. I'm working on a beach with my laptop after this book inspired me. It's called Beach Money. Yeah, that's a pretty good book, by the way. So yeah, um, 
so you do that and I just added the video there and let's just say um, so that's the video embed code we already have our opt-in form and if I, I put some sort of gear icon image here but I'm not going to let me just let me just show you let me just go get something in my image gallery just to show you that you can do some pretty cool stuff I don't think I have much in here because this is yeah because this is the test uh, this is my my test domain so I haven't put anything in there okay so let me just save this and we will go and we'll see we'll see here sorry okay where's my video where's my video oh I have to put the width in okay so let's do um, Let's do three. Let's do three seventy-five. That would help, and then you can start the video from a certain part, spot. But I am going to put auto start, so it'll start in its own, and then the video line will be in the center. So that should help all that. So let me plug in my computer before we have problems. And we're good. Okay, so saved, and let's just refresh this, and there's a video. Now, again, I can go in and realign all this stuff and, you know, center everything and make it look nice, nice. It's just, I'm just doing this for the sake of this video to show you exactly what's going on. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. If you want to see more, um, you can go to... Uh, watch the other videos and then in the next video we're going to actually go on to step five and we're almost done with with this uh this plugin and these videos so thanks for watching danny forts with the rejection free formula no calling no chasing no convincing and i will see you on the 